Hi guys, this is Ashia and this is my tutorial on how to install the Midnote 3.1 ice cream sandwich ROM for the Galaxy Note N7000. Uh, the base requirement here is that your phone needs to be rooted and you need to be on a, a gingerbread ROM. That is either the stock or any custom ROM like the one that I'm currently using, the Czech ROM Revo Note HD V5. That's the one that I'm using and it needs to be gingerbread. Again. Uh, you need to start from a gingerbread ROM no matter uh, what ROM you're coming from. So in case you're on an ice cream sandwich beta ROM like Rocket ROM or Stana or whatever, uh, use the link that pops up right now and that'll take you to my tutorial on how to get back to gingerbread from ice cream sandwich ROMs. Uh, so get that done and then you know get back to this tutorial. Alright, the first thing you need to do is you need to download these, f these five files links one two three four five and I've saved them under a folder okay you need to download these uh, five files and uh, once you've done that go ahead and hit a volume power and home and hold it till the phone reboots and once you see Samsung Galaxy Note written on screen you can let go of these three keys there you go and now you will boot back into clockwork mod recovery and scroll down to install zip from SD card choose zip from SD card in case you're using an external micro SD card or choose zip from internal SD card if you've stored your uh, data on the internal SD card so we are on the external and I've stored it under mid note so okay right now you select mid note 3.0 underscore modem dot zip and then you hit install so this will take a few seconds and once that's done install from SD card complete you go back and you hit reboot system now okay and after that we are up go to Google Play or the market or the Play Store or whatever it's called these days and download mobile Odin or you can get the light version for free uh, from XDA forums so whatever it is get mobile Odin and over here scroll down and tap on open file and our data is on the external SD card so mid note and mid note 2.1 underscore base dot tar I know it says 2.1 but that's the right file And the next thing you do is go into kernel, tap on kernel, external SD, and this time select the Z image file. You can now scroll down and leave everything as it is and also select wipe data and cache, which you can't do with this. Okay. Okay guys, if you're on the pro version of mobile loading, you go ahead and select all this, including wipe data and cache. If you're on the light version, just leave it as it is and hit flash firmware and hit continue and you can check it but I'm gonna skip right now it's gonna flash let's just give it a quick minute and once this is done you will reboot back into clockwork mod recovery okay now we're back into clockwork mod recovery and guys since we used uh, the light version of my mobile loadin uh, I'm gonna go into wipe data factory reset and delete all user data if you've used the pro version you don't have to do the step you can uh, just go ahead and reboot the phone okay after this go and wipe cache partition that's it now reboot system now okay guys the first now it's up and the first time all you're gonna see is the notification bar you're not going to see anything else tapping on the buttons is not going to give you anything so don't worry about it that's uh, how it's supposed to be now I've long press the power button okay guys I'm sorry I got cut off before uh, once you see just the notification bar there all you need to do is long press the power button and reboot and once you reboot you get back to this screen uh, with touch I mean with ICS loaded so we're not there just yet Okay, so all you need to do right now is again, volume up, power, and home. 
hold all three you will end up taking a screenshot don't worry about it keep holding it till the phone reboots and then once you see Samsung Galaxy Note displayed on screen let go that's it so you will reboot back into clockwork clockwork mod recovery so again scroll down to install zip from SD card and uh, choose zip from SD card and I've saved it on the mid note and mid note 3 mid note 3.0 zip so select it go up install again guys remember for this step you're not wiping anything you're just gonna flash this uh, mid note 3.0 zip that's it so this will take a little bit of time so just wait for it okay so now that's done so what we do now is go back and now select reboot system now okay now we're up so uh, at this point do not select touch with launcher use apex apex launcher and uh, once again boot back uh, into clockwork mod recovery the up volume power and home buttons and once you see Samsung Galaxy Note display it let, let the buttons go okay now that we are in go down wipe data factory reset and now wipe cache partition now reboot system okay guys now the phone boots back up and this is the screen that uh, we are left at so over here let's select setup wizard okay now hit start skip Select a VLAN and I'm going to enter my code. Okay, done. Next. Okay, now say so, so this is auto. Go to next and select not nav. And under use Google location, make sure both of these are checked. Hit next. Again, next and finish. And again guys, do not do not select Touchless Launcher over here, select the Apex Launcher. We're up. Uh, cancel. So right now I've gone to market. And now we can add your, add an account. So. Okay, now first hit on search. Type maps. Yeah, it probably won't show up there, but just hit enter and you go into maps tap google maps and install it so this will take a little bit of time depending on the connection that you're on and before you go into maps just go into settings and uh, go into location services and make sure that gps is disabled now open maps up again and now it gives you location and that's where I am anyway okay now that uh, the maps thing is done go back out and this time again reboot to recovery up volume power and home buttons Once you see Samsung Galaxy Note displayed, uh, you can take the hands off, fingers off. And we boot back into Clockwork Mod Recovery. Again, navigate to install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card and mid note. And this time select mid note 3.1 underscore cumulative underscore update underscore new dot zip. Again guys, before you do this, you don't wipe anything, you just go ahead and flash it over. And that's it this is the last part and after and once this flash is complete you can use touch because even that's active and a lot of fixes are included okay now that's done 
uh, go back. And hit reboot system now. So just to confirm guys, let's go into system settings. Navigate down, about phone. And you can see that this is Android version 4.0.3. And that's ice cream sandwich. And that's mid note 3.1. So that's pretty much it for the installation tutorial for Mid No 3.1, guys. Uh, I will be uploading a full review soon. Uh, if you guys run into any issues with the installation, uh, you know, leave. A, I mean, send me a mail rather than leave a comment. Uh, send me a mail or hit me up on Facebook, you know, because when you know you need some help with installation instructions, you need to have a back and forth conversation, and it's easier for me to keep track of stuff if it's on Facebook or you know via emails. Uh, the comment section tends to get a little bit clustered. Anyway, the, you know all my contact details including Facebook, Twitter and uh, email ID are all in the description. Uh, so you can go ahead and get my details from there. So uh, once again, that's pretty much it guys. Thanks a lot for watching and before you go, make sure you hit the subscribe and the like buttons. Uh, once again, that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot for watching guys. You have a great day. Bye bye now.